back once again with our video sit-downs you know, with some candidates for the primary election. Now we switch back to the 35th District State Representative position number two. Guy off, or I'm off camera, Deidre Callen. On camera is Jeff Davis. He is running for position number two. Mm -hmm. Jeff, thank you for taking some time out, and let's talk about Jeff Davis. My pleasure, Deidre. Uh, well, I'm Jeff Davis running, as you had indicated, the 35th legislative race in uh, seat number two. I... Uh, <clears throat> I'm a native of the Northwest, grew up in Oregon down on Columbia River, moved to the Olympia area here, gosh, I want to say eight years ago now. I'm currently a port commissioner at the Port of Olympia, which is a countywide uh, port district in Mason County here. We have actually six different ports. Um, I cover all of uh, Thurston County. I was legislative director for our group for about eight years and primarily dealing with transportation issues, freight mobility, um, trying to bring money into the state to where we can address uh, and alleviate some of the congestion we have on our highways. But what brings me to this race more than anything else, aside from the fact that it is an open seat, um, is the issue of jobs and job creation. Uh, one of the things that I've realized at the Port Commission is there's you know, certainly opportunities available to us by which we can go about bringing jobs into this state and specifically even in the region. Um, and I'm going to highlight that a little bit later, but education is another big strong issue of mine as a son of a retired school teacher of 36 years and uh, several family members that are, that are school teachers as well. Um, and as a father of three school-age children, I think that education is something that we really need to be focusing on, not just in the K-12 through programs, although that is very important, but uh, as I see and, and kind of tying in with my jobs program out there, community and technical education has to be a focus that we bring in. And we've got some tremendous resources in the county here by which we can draw from, but uh, um, highlighting those, making sure that those are properly in place so that we can have the jobs and revenue stream uh, coming in the area are certainly important. Um, I guess the last uh, uh, concept of many different things that I'm bringing to this election is the idea of fiscal responsibility. You know, that's a value that I was brought up with and something that I hold dear that we have to we have to look at budgetary constraints uh, realistically and, and do what we can with the funds that we currently have in order to make them work. So it's, this, can, this race is about jobs. It's about uh, fiscal responsibility as well, as well as our education system. Um, and making sure that that's propped up. Um, and our, our environmental and natural resources concerns are, are, are going to be a big issue as well. So um, bringing a lot of things, but I'll highlight those four right now. All right, well, let's get into the questions. What is the biggest issue or problem facing the 35th District and the state, and how do you plan to deal with it? Well, I'll come back to this jobs issue. You know, when I started this, um, uh, this race, you know, back in the spring, uh, at least looking at it, and I announced in August, um, the numbers were coming out. Now, I'm going to speak on Mason County because, as you are aware, this county, or excuse me, this district is three different counties. Uh, the unemployment rate for Kitsap County is 7.3, um, for Thurston County is 7.9, but for Mason it's 10.6. You know, we have an issue with, with trying to find ways we can employ people uh, specifically in this area in Mason County. Um, so jobs moving forward, how can we how can we put people back to work now? Myself as a as a blue collar worker, um, as a longshoreman, um, you know I understand that. I understand in talking to folks at the door, um, you know when I go out and go doorbelling, it's not just an issue with the people that I meet, but everybody knows somebody out there that currently doesn't have a job, whether it's a spouse or a relative or a son or a daughter or even a neighbor. Um, the question is is how are we going to do that? Um, Certainly, you know, again, I've, I've highlighted some of the things as far as, you know, being a port commissioner that we've done. We've done some fantastic job creation specifically at the port, um, but we have to look at the resources that we have available here, as, here for us in the, in, the, in the county and in the district to make sure that we highlight them. So I'd have to say that uh, jobs is the number one issue, not just for this region, but moreover for the state. How do you propose to increase tax revenues to support current services at the, in the state, 35th district? Yeah, I have to tell you, Dedrick, that's going to be a tough one. Um, with Initiative 1053 currently in place, which requires a two-thirds majority, it's going to be very difficult to have any sort of tax increases currently in the state legislature. In fact, I think any proposed tax increase is going to have to come from the people. Um, in other words, that would have to come back in the form of, a, of a, some sort of a ballot measure or perhaps I'm not going to, I don't see any initiative drives out there, but it has to be something that's addressed uh, from, from the public's concern itself. Um, but that's not to say that we can't look at other revenue streams out there right now, and, and I've highlighted a couple of those here in the past. Currently, we give a whole bunch of tax incentives and tax breaks to corporations that come into our state, um, use our resources, use our roads, um, and there's really no matrix put in place by which we can account for whether or not those, those incentives that they receive are actually beneficial to the community. Now, I, I'm not going to 
say I have the formula by which that we can do that. But I will say we think we need to start looking critically at some of the corporations that are coming in here, um, using our resources to their advantage, not employing people from the local community, and taking some of that dollars away from the, from the state budget by which we can actually turn around and invest back in our roads and our schools and the infrastructure which we currently need. So, you know, that's some low-hanging fruit, if I can use that term, that we can go after right now that doesn't necessarily require a two-thirds majority if it's structured right, um, and just start holding corporations accountable for, for the citizens of the state. So. Yeah, you talked about jobs. Do you have a specific plan to attract business and industry to the state? And can you summarize it for us? Yeah, a couple things. I think I'm the only candidate in this particular race that has experience in uh, job creation. Um, as a, a business owner, I own some property, um, so I'm in the property management business. But on top of that, I come back to my position at the Port Commission. Um, the we have to look at the resources we have. Any any simple economics will say that you have to, to address the strengths that we have in the area. We have natural resources in the form of uh, timber and, and shellfish. But I think the biggest impediment to job creation, specifically in the 35th district, is our transportation system. When I look at, you know, we have a slide area just north of Shelton. We have, uh, you know, some issues going through Belfair. Gorst is another problem. As somebody who's been working on transportation issues in the state for, gosh, about eight, nine years now, I can see how there's potential for increased mobility specifically in this region. Now, I'm not going to say that we're going to have a large manufacturing company come into Mason County and hire 200 to 500 people, but there's ways that we can work around that. Um, small businesses need to be propped up. Well, I think that that's an issue that we need to be addressing. But our transportation system, I think, it, it could be a key component to bringing and attracting uh, a large business, large light manufacturing, uh, light industrial sectors into the region, which highlight the natural resources by which we have. What is the state's single biggest need? Well, I'd have to say, you know, it's income, quite frankly. In my mind, it's income. But just when I say that, I have to placate it by saying that doesn't necessarily mean it's taxes. Um, I come back to this notion of jobs. Um, I, I'm, I'm unfortunately, I probably sound like I'm a one-sided issue, and I'm much more dynamic than that. But, you know, the issue of jobs is, in my opinion, one of the number one things that we can be doing as a state. You know, you have to look at simple economics. Um, you know, a person goes to work, has a good-paying job. They take that dollar to the store, and they, you know, they purchase something there. If there's enough jobs that there's through, so enough people come through the door, then a the small business is able to hire more people. That money stays local. It stays within a community. So we have to address issues by which that we can do that. If you start taking those jobs away, the dollars move out of that community or even the state in general. The exodus of jobs means the exodus of money. So we have to really focus on how do we bring those jobs back in, which in my opinion results in income being brought back into the community and even the state. So addressing income needs, um, in my opinion, has to be done from a job standpoint. I think there's a lot of people that want to go back to work. They just don't have the opportunity to do so. So what do we do as a legislature to address those needs I start attracting businesses to the 35th district's Sure, but also to the state, by which we can have money stay within the current uh, confines of the Northwest. If we start losing those jobs, which we've had done in the past, we start losing the money by which uh, our infrastructure is built on. So, Okay, Jeff. Jeff Davis, candidate for uh, 35th District. State Representative, position number two. You are running as a Democrat. I am, yes. Okay, we'll throw that out there for thank you very much. party people. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I thank you for your time, and we wish you good luck in your campaign. Thank you, Diedrich.